Have you ever talked about something to a friend or family member and then suddenly see ads about the exact same thing on Facebook and Instagram? Now, if it just happened once, you might think it's just a coincidence, but if it happens again and again, you might start to think that Facebook really is listening to what you say or type on your phone. Now, of course, Facebook denies that it listens to you or reads what you type on messaging apps like WhatsApp. Uh, yes or no, does Facebook use audio obtained from mobile devices to enrich personal information about its users? No. But still, a lot of people think that Facebook are lying and that they are listening to what you say or reading what you type. Interestingly, in 2020, a cybersecurity company in the UK tested this by buying two brand new iPhones and two brand new Samsung Android phones. They opened the Facebook app and kept two phones in silence and the other two were played a series of pet food adverts over three days. What were the results? Well, according to the study, they found no technical evidence of listening and there were no related ads on Facebook. So the results indicate that it doesn't look like your phone is listening to you according to this test. So the big question is, if this is true, then how does Facebook show you ads about things that you talk about? And in some cases, how can they show you ads about things you only think about, things you haven't even said out loud? Well, it all comes down to using a combination of big data and artificial intelligence. Here's how it works. Facebook tracks millions of data points on each of its users, including what websites you visit and what apps you use on your phone. Based on these data points, it creates different interests for each of its users, which you can use to target people when advertising on Facebook ads. Based on these data points, it creates different interests for each of its users, which business owners can use to target people when advertising on Facebook ads. And you can actually see this if you advertise on Facebook yourself by searching for different interests within the Facebook ads manager. And now this is where things get interesting. When you create an ad, Facebook not only reads the text, but it can even understand what your image or video is about. And it can also understand what landing page you're taking people to inside of that ad and what that landing page says. So this gives Facebook an idea of what your ad is about. Now, as Facebook shows ads to different people on Facebook, Instagram, and other Facebook owned properties, it starts to look for patterns in behavior with people that click on the advert and especially people that click on the advert and convert. For example, let's imagine there's someone called Jill and Jill is pregnant and starts looking for baby clothes online. She sees an ad about baby clothes, clicks on it and buys something. Facebook now knows that Jill converted for an ad about baby clothes. So what Facebook next does is it looks at Jill's behavior before she showed any interest in baby clothes. For example, maybe a few months ago, she was looking at buying parenting books, or maybe even a few months earlier than that, she was reading blogs on the best location to live when raising children. Facebook looks at all the different data points of that person's past behavior, even if those data points don't appear to have anything to do with the action that they just took. Then Facebook finds other people that are doing the same kinds of things. So other people that are also browsing the same kinds of websites that Jill was browsing. And then it shows those other people the same ads that converted with Jill. And Facebook will sometimes even show these ads to people before they even search for baby clothes, since their past behavior indicates that they will be interested in baby clothes. So this is why someone might talk about baby clothes or talk about any other subject and not search for anything online. And then they suddenly see ads about baby clothes or whatever it is that they're talking about. And then they think that Facebook or their phone is listening to what they say. So does that make sense? Can you see how Facebook knows what you want sometimes before you even know you want it? And it's not just Facebook that combines big data with AI to predict what you want. All major companies, including Google and Amazon, do exactly the same thing. In fact, there's a story on Forbes where the store Target figured out a teen girl was pregnant before her father did. Her dad even got annoyed at Target for sending her coupons for baby clothes and cribs. He said to the Target manager, my daughter got this in the mail. She's still in high school and you're sending her coupons for baby clothes and cribs. Are you trying to encourage her to get pregnant? The manager didn't have any idea what the man was talking about. He looked at the mailer and yes, sure enough, it was addressed to the man's daughter. The manager apologized and then called a few days later to apologize again. On the phone though, the second time that the target manager apologized, the father admitted, I had a talk with my daughter and it turns out there's been some activities in my house that I haven't been completely aware of. She's due in August. I owe you an apology. So how did target know this person was pregnant? 
Again, Target was looking at the buying behavior of the previous people who were pregnant and it matched the buying behavior of the girl. In the end though, when this story was published, Target didn't want to creep people out. So they started mixing their personalized coupons with other random coupons that they knew the person would not be interested in so that it looked like the products were all chosen by chance instead of through targeted ads. So with all of that in mind, you can see that it is perfectly possible for people to see targeted ads without your phone secretly listening to you. That being said though, Facebook have lied about things in the past, such as when they said WhatsApp wouldn't share any of your data with Facebook, but they did. So what do you think? Is Facebook listening to what you say or reading what you type? Or are the highly targeted ads that you see a direct result of advanced AI combined with big data? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about how Facebook ads works, be sure to check out some of my other videos here.